Welcome everybody, this is Bob with Edworks, and today we're going to talk about the conversion of a ProLite 1000. That's Jim's ProLite 1000. We'll be adding a Masso G3 Touch. The ProLite 1000 was created by a corporation called Light Machines. Light Machines was started in 1986. In 1987, they introduced the ProLite 1000. The ProLite 1000 was also developed into a line of machines known as the Benchman series. These series of machines were for hobbyists. They also were for educational purposes as well as small manufacturing outfits. The Benchman series was a more higher performing machine and hence had a more diverse audience. In or about the year 2000, Intellitech bought out light machines. They continued to market machines and develop machines at light machines but Intellitech was the driving force. Most of the machines we see today, the ProLite 1000s, are from educational purposes. These machines were sold to school systems, and with them, and the price of the machine, which is rather quite steep, included educational materials. So there was lesson plans, uh, networking software, multiple uh, software licenses so that the entire classroom could do their uh, development work and their CNC work. And with this, came generally one machine. Intellitech also enveloped, developed the bench mill series and the bench turning series of machines and things got a little bit more sophisticated. There was also a, a Intellitech or a ProLite machining center that was developed. The Scarab robot was developed. What we're seeing today is primarily the machines that are falling out of the school systems either high schools, Votech systems, or college and universities. Most of these machines have very light duty, and they compare favorably with the Tormach 440. Let's talk about the differences and the similarities between these machines. The ProLite 1000 does compare quite nicely with the uh, Tormach 440. The envelope, the build envelope, is approximately the same. Z-axis is 6 inches. I'm sorry, it's 9 inches on the ProLite, 10 inches on the Tormach. The X travel is 12 inches on the ProLite, 10 inches on the Tormach. The Y travel is 6 and 6 on each. Table width is approximately the same. The frame for the ProLite is stone epoxy, whereas the Tormach 440 is cast. The footprint shows the Tormach being slightly larger. However, I believe the Tormach includes the enclosure. The speed of the of the uh, steppers is dramatically faster in the Tormach because this machine is about 35 years younger. Accuracy on the ProLite is 1 thou. Resolution is 0.000125. I don't have those numbers for the Tormach. Motor was 1 horsepower on the ProLite and 0.75 horsepower on the Tormach. Max speed on the ProLite is a 5,000 RPM. Max speed on the Tormach is 10,000 RPM. Spindles are R8s on both machines, and both machines operate on 115 to 125 volts AC. So these machines are quite comparable. You need to remember that the ProLite machines are 30 years older, uh, so Tormach is going to have a slightly more advanced machine, and Tormach, the corporation, exists. They provide support, they provide newer machines, they provide updates, they provide uh, new uh, tool changers and other add-ons. Uh, so there is a substantial difference between the two machines. However, they are comparable in their current state.